Hey everybody, welcome back to my floss tube channel. My name is Casey. If you're new, thank you for coming. And if you're returning, it's been a while. It's been almost 11 months since my last video, but I really wanted to make sure I got my whip parade done for this year. So I finally made the time to come back. <laughs> um, I guess I'll just start with a little bit of a life update and a little bit about me if you're new. This is where I talk about my cross stitch and I've been stitching for maybe around at least 15 years since I was like a young teenager. And about three years ago is when it really started to pick it up. Like I've stitched pretty consistently, but I used to be monogamous and now I have a lot more projects than just one or two. <laughs> so a little bit of life update. When you last saw me, I had a son who was, I don't know, I think around eight months old or something around there. Um, and since my last video, I also now have a daughter I stopped filming before I went public with my pregnancy, so I never got to tell you guys. But surprise, I have a daughter as well now. She is about three months old and my son is now gonna turn two in April. So basically, that I mean, just telling you that right there can explain where I've been. Luckily, I've still been able to stitch, but I just had no desire to take away from my stitching time and film a video. Um, I'm hoping for this coming year at the least Maybe every three three months, just because I mean I don't stitch as much as I used to, so the progress is slower than it used to be. Or at the very least, I like to do a mid-year whip parade and the end of year whip parade next year. All right, so I'm gonna try to get through this quickly because I have both the kids here, and one of them is eating lunch. So I'm gonna try to get through my whips rather quickly. I'm not gonna be talking about the fabric, so if you have questions on what fabric it is. You can ask me in the comments and I'll try to answer you. And I'm not going to be saying the specific start dates, but I will mention what year they were started in. Because I also had lost my notebook that I was writing down all my start dates in. I'm only going to insert before pictures for a handful of projects because there's a lot that I did not really work on at all because I was putting more of my time into a smaller amount of projects so I could see progress on them. I'm going to just talk about my goals throughout this whip parade. Um, I'm planning to do the Full Coverage Fanatics Epic Journey Challenge and that's mainly just to help keep me on track with like full coverage progress. Let's get started with the whips. Okay, the first project, I, um, this one is out of order, but I don't, I don't know why it just is. <laughs> it is called Autumn Swing by Mill Hill Bead Kit. It's a Mill Hill Bead Kit and I worked on it just a little bit since last year. This is where it is. I would like to get this one done this year. Next is called Winter Lane by Cross Stitch Collectibles. Not much progress on this one. If any, really. This is started in 2021. So this, until, the, until I say otherwise, are all started in 2021. This one is going to be a UFO because I haven't worked on it in like two years. It is called Football by MysticStitch.com and I'm going to insert the cover photos. But I'm going to UFO it, UFO it which means unfinished object. Um, I was st stitching it for my brothers who play football, but I just haven't worked on it and I have different ones I'm going to stitch for them instead. That won't take as long. All right, I went and got my tablet so that I can show you guys the cover photos instead of having to edit it, edit it later on. So this is the winter lane one. Sorry for any glares, but I'm trying to reduce the amount of time this video will take. <laughs> and then I'll show you the football one that I'm UFOing, just so you can see it. I'm gonna have to pause it because my kid is throwing his lunch on the floor. All right, I'm back. The next pattern is called A Good Marriage and it's by Lizzie Kate. This is a cover photo. And this is where I've gotten to. I haven't worked on it at all and I might not work on it again this year, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. Next is called Epic Pokemon by Lord Libidon and not much progress on this one. 
Oh no, still interned at before photo. I think just in case I worked on it, I can't remember. This one is for my fiance. I like that. Next is called Mini Sunflower Cottage by Donna Galsinger from Heaven and Earth Designs. This is one that I hope to finish this year. I literally got to like 40% or something around there the first year I worked on it and then I just stopped. And I, got... and I don't think I worked on it at all this past year. Next is called Bellatrix by Bella Filipina and I hope to maybe finish this one this year. I'm not like super confident or not if I will but I made a decent amount of progress on this so I'll in I will insert the cover photo and then the before photo so you can compare but I really like this one I think that I'm like almost done with cross stitching for sure and then I have the beading which I got impatient and I did decide to start. But I also realized once I started beading that I did not do this on the correct size or count of fabric. This one is a little bit too small, so the amount of beads don't fit that are supposed to. But I'm just kind of eyeballing it and just going with it until it looks like it should be done. So this long string should have a lot more beads, but they were not going to fit and lay nicely. But in the pattern, I can see that it stops around here. So I just went until I got down there without really counting how many it was. But I stitched with a hoop. So I'm just going to do beads as long as I can without the hoop getting in the way. And then I'll have to figure out how to do it after that. And if you haven't noticed already, I put tape around the edges of pretty much all my projects unless they come already um like finish on the edges like this one did because i just don't have a sewing machine and i don't really want to stitch it by hand around the edges so when i frame these i just cut around the tape and take the tape off before i frame it so i'm sorry if it's hard for you to look at <laughs> the next one is called haunted house by stitch and jewels on etsy this is all i have i might have worked on it just a little bit The next one is San Francisco Golden Gate from Artisy.com. I don't think I worked on this one a whole lot. The next one is Cat by Lola Lada Shop on Etsy, which I don't think is there anymore. This is going to be a UFO, but I will most likely restart it just on a different fabric because I don't know why, but I cut it so small and it's just really annoying to hold in my hands and stitch. So I need a bigger piece of fabric. This one is called Snow Much In Love by Donna, da Donna Galsinger. It's the mini on Haid. And this is gonna be a UFO with a probably restart sometime in the future. Basically, I decided I don't wanna do it on black fabric. <laughs> and I wanna use this for other things like smaller projects, but this is where I got to. Next, it's called Tranquil Tulip, and it's by Hannah Disney on Haid. I hope to finish this one um, in 2024 as well with the full coverage group. I'll insert a before photo, I maybe, because I think I worked on it a little bit. I wasn't even showing you the cover photos, so I'm going to just start there, and the rest I miss, I'll just do it when I edit. This is Tranquil Tulip. Next is called Marion Bright by Donna Galsinger on Haid. I worked on this one just a little, so I'll show you a before photo. And this is the cover photo. I'm doing the regular size. There's a lot of people who do the mini version for this pattern, but I like to the details in the regular version. It's just a lot more confetti. This is one of my favorite pictures that I've seen on Haid. It's just very slow progress because of the confetti that I'm currently in. But you can see some of the lights on the wreath coming in. <laughs> Next is called Believe by Sue Miller on Haid. 
I didn't work on this one at all, at all this year until just this past December. So I'll show you a before picture so there's a little bit of progress. I was just filling in around the tree and those candy canes. I think I'm learning that for full coverage, I like going page by page. Next is Mount Cabin Home from Heaven and Earth Designs. I didn't write down the artist, I'm sorry. But I did not really work on it this year. And it will be very big because it's on 18 count. But oh well. I'll show you the cover photo. The next one is called Yosemite National Park by Awesome Pattern Studio on Etsy. This is a cover photo. And I hope to finish this one this year. And this is where I got to. Next is called Sleeping Cat Monochrome and it is by Stitching Jewels on Etsy. I worked on this one a little. I believe this is the correct way to hold it. And let me show you the mock-up. Next is called Cat Face. Uh, I didn't write down the artist, but it was someone from Etsy. This might be a UFO um, because of pattern issues with it. I don't know which way to hold it, but it seems like the pattern, the PDF, it like doesn't line up correctly when you change the pages or there's some stitches missing. Missing. So I need to double check if that's just something from Pattern Keeper or if it's the actual pattern itself. And if it is the, just the pattern messed up, then I'm going to UFO it. So those are all the starts from 2021. Um, now we'll get into the 2022 starts. Um, this one is called Brachiosaurus, and it's by David Penfound on Hade. I'm saving this one for my son, but there's almost no progress, anything really done on it. <laughs> this is all I have. Next is called Snow Queen by Mirabilia. And I really like this, but I haven't worked on it because I've been working on the Bellatrix one. So there's just a little progress, like the dark, the really dark lines in there. I think I, that's what I did this year. <laughs> Next is called Autumn by My Myra Petit on Hade. This is dedicated to my cat because her name is Autumn, and that's the name of the pattern. And I did not really work on it this year. Next is Hibiscus Fairy by Meredith Dillman on Hade. This is also dedicated to my cat Autumn because she looks like the cat in the picture. And I worked on this just a little bit this year. This one is 22 count, one over one, full cross. This one is called Story Keep Rainbow Valley by Jody Bergsma on Hade. Not really any progress on this one. The next one is called It's a Cat by Stitch Man Darcy. And I hope I can finish this this I hope I can finish it this year because it's not that big at all. And I've worked on it a little bit this year. I filled in these two sides, but it's a light color, so I don't know if you can tell. Next is called a Real Snow Job by Scott Wooster on Hade. This is what it will look like. And I didn't get very much progress on it this year. All right, next is called Mini Mangelenic Cloud from Heaven, Heaven and Earth Designs. This is the mock-up. And no progress on this, pretty sure. 
Next is called Can It Be Heart by Dakota Detweiler. It's no longer on Haid, but that's where I got it from. Oops. Um, Alara and Suki the Brown Eyed Stitcher are also working on this one. And this is what I have. I'm just gonna show you the corner. <laughs> this is the bottom left of it. Next is called Evening and it's Max Color by Leonid Afromov on Hade. I had started it two over two, I believe on 22 count, but I restarted it one over one on 22 count. And this is where it is. This is the mock up. Next is called Heaven's Window by Andy Russell on Haid. This is the mock up. And this is where I am. I did work on it a little bit, so I will show up a more picture for this one. But this top sky is all almost just 393A. That's a lot of block stitching. <laughs> Next is called 12 Days of Christmas, and it is by Hannah Lynn on Haid. This is the mock-up. And I did make a little bit of progress on this. I started in the bottom left, which I don't usually do. And I worked my way up to work on that bird. <laughs> Or what is it? The three French hens. Okay, this one has a lot of progress. So now when you're like, why haven't you worked on anything? You can see that I have. Oops. This one is, there, let me just show you the cover. My son's stocking. This is my first ever stocking that I'm stitching. I plan to do one for my daughter and then me and my fiance. I'm doing one at a time. And this should be a finish this year, I really hope. I only had a little bit started last year, but this is where I am. And I don't know if you noticed, but the name is not centered. But I was not going to go and try and fix that because it took me a while to chart it. And I still, could, still couldn't get it centered, but oh well. But I really like it. I still have to figure out what I want to stitch for my daughter's stocking. So I'm having a hard time picking hers. I have mine and my fiance's chosen out, but not hers. <laughs> Next is called Dino ABC. This is the cover photo, it's for my son. So this year I filled in that dinosaur and I did some more of the letters. I'd like to get this done this year, but honestly, like those letters, there's a lot more stitches left than it looks like there is because those letters have a lot. Next is called Autumn Montage by Janet Stieber, and it's charted by Pain Free Crafts. This one got pretty good progress. So there's a lot of people stitching this in all the other seasons. I'm trying not to start the other ones till this is done, whenever that happens. So I'm going page by page, just picking whatever page I want to do next. And currently I'm working on this bottom page, I think. But I really like how it's looking. Okay, next is the fox from Cottage Garden from Cottage Garden Samplings. And I did not really work on it this year. But this is what I have so far. Next is called Celtic Autumn. I'm stitching the orange and green orange and green version of it. And I have worked on it a little bit. So once I finish the Bella Filipina, I think I want to focus on this one next. Next is going to be a UFO because I do not like this fabric at all. And I'm not going to show the pattern. It was just a little turkey from a, a Just Cross Stitch magazine. This is a UFO because I don't like the fabric. 
Next is called Pandemic by Long Dark Samplers. I made decent progress on this one this year. This is what it's gonna look like. Whoops, sorry. Lots of people have done this. I'm stitching mine in, I believe it's 3809, the DMC color. It's just like a dark forest green. This way. I don't remember what percentage. I stitched all the way to the left just because I wanted to make sure there was enough fabric. And this is what I have. Looks really good so far. Next is Pokemon Gen 1 by Forest Designing on Etsy. So last year I had these three outlined, but only this one had the color. So I've gotten all these out, other ones done. And then the last one for the 2022 start is Joshua Tree, which I had finished um, in 2022. And I'm starting it again for my friends because they had their honeymoon. They went to Joshua Tree during their honeymoon and they really want me to stitch this for them. So I'm stitching it one more time just for them. And I hope to finish it this year using the full coverage fanatics, fanatics <laughs> uh, challenge group. And then we have 2023 starts. Luckily, not as much as 2022 and 2021. All right, these are not in the correct order, the 2023 starts, just because I didn't write down the start date for all of them. But this is my daughter's birth sampler. And I'm not gonna use the college form fabric, this color. I picked out a pink one from um grace notes fabrics this is my first time ordering from them and i re really like it so i'm sure i will order again from them i made some pretty good progress this year it's super cute and it's easy to stitch it's on a 28 count i'm doing two over two full cross and what was this fabric called it was something like strawberry latte or something like that And I'm gonna change the, I'm gonna try to change the color of the bow to be like a purple, maybe, or pink. Yeah, and I might have to change the pink squares if it blends in too much with the pink fabric. But this is a really fun one to work on. And I don't really need to get it done this year, but at the latest, I'd like to finish it in 2025. This one is called, um, Star. I don't know what it's called, but it's a Star Wars pattern off Etsy. If you want to know what it is, leave a comment and I'll let you know the name. I'm stitching this for my brother for Christmas. And this is one out of like 12 people. This one's almost done. I just have to do his feet, I think. This one is called Coloring Book Afternoon by Amy Stewart on Haid because I really like to do those coloring books. I just have one colored pencil finished. Lots of detail in this one. This one is called Catnap from Heaven and Earth Designs. I didn't take a note of the artist. And this one is a sad life update, but this one is in memory of my cat, Petrie. If you've been around, it's the brown cat. Uh, around February last year, he had gotten out of the house and ran away and we were not able to find him. So, yeah. And this cat kind of looks like him and he was always a, a really cute sleeping cat. So, <laughs> but I actually cut out, let me show you the pattern first. This is my cat Petrie in the cartoon character. <laughs> I cut out top of top part of the wall, but I still wanted some of the wall in it. Just you can see there's a wall and even though i cut out over a page of it there's still a bunch of just this color so yeah i don't know how quickly i'll be working on this one but someday it'll be done this one i think is called it doesn't have an actual name but it's called little it says little things from stitch robia emma congdon i have her 
the book with like the outdoors patterns and stuff. This one is called Relentless by Ink Circles. I'd like to get this one done possibly this year as well. Basically, I'm trying to get a handful of my small full coverage patterns done. I'm missing like two more. I'm gonna go look. I'm just gonna tell you what they are just in case I don't find them. I'll insert a cover photo. But I'm working on Unplug and Go Outside by the same book, Emma Congdon, Stitch Rovia. And then also I started um, Cirque Day Triangles from Ink Circles just recently. So I just have a little bit on the top corner done. And about two years ago, I finished the Cirque Day Coeurs with one that has like the hearts in it. And it's framed on my wall and I want to do all three of them. There's also a square one, I believe. So but I'm doing them one at a time. So those are all my starts. I still need to show you my finishes. Let me find those. In 2023, I finished eight things. The first one I'm gonna show you, and it's not in any particular order. This is my temperature piece by Stitch and Mommy on Etsy. And I have my town stitch on the bottom, but I'm not, I'm not gonna show you that part. This was the year that my son was born. I kind of wanted to do one for my daughter's year, which was 2023. But I want to do like the same pattern just to compare the colors and use the same temperature range. Which I did not get the hottest color on this. So I probably would not get it again if I did that again. This one is called Stitching Acorns and it is by Cottage Garden Samplings. I finished it. I finished it August 6th and I started it. January 12th of 2022 and I finished it August 6th of 2023. Hold on. This one is called Fishing Lovers by Happy Little Mouse on Etsy. And it's upside down like this. This one is called Summer Ice by JB Cross Stitch. I got it from the Just, Just Cross Stitch magazine. If you want to know what series or anything, let me know in the comments. Just in December, I finished this one. It's called The Beauty of Change, also from the Just Cross Stitch magazine. It is by Rhonda Nori of Tangled Threads and Things. And it has some black work designs in it. Finished in the beginning of the year in January, I finished Loved by You by Hello from Liz Matthews. I'll insert a picture. And then I finished a Mill Hills Buttons and Beads called the Kitty's Gift. But my cat's chewed on it a little bit, but I'll still try to insert a picture. And I finished my son's birth sampler, the dinosaur one. I'll insert a picture, but I'm going to like cross out his information on it. And that's all my finishes for 2023. So I started the year with 46 whips. And after finishing some projects and UFOing a few, I now have 44. So I was able to get down my whip count, which I really didn't think I was gonna do that because it felt like I had started a lot, but compared to the previous year, I didn't really start that much at all. So for this coming year, my main thing I'm gonna try not to do is to purchase full coverage patterns, unless it's like a really, really, really good one because I have a lot of full coverage. But I am probably going to start a handful of smaller ones slash just non-full coverage. I just feel like I have a growing interest for those now and they finish much faster. I like to get things on the wall. Which, speaking of that, I want to be able to fully finish the finishes that I have because I have a small collection starting up now. And I don't want them just sitting in a bag forever. But some of them are not going to just be put in a frame. Like I want to try and get a little bit a little more creative with them but besides that i'm just gonna keep stitching when i can if you have questions about the fabrics or anything just let me know and i'll try to give you the answer so hopefully you'll be able to see me maybe in a couple months if not i hope to do a mid-year whip parade and then the end of your whip parade i also remembered i wanted to show you guys my diamond painting i have two on the go right now from diamond art club and I thought it would be cool just to track my progress just, just in the whip parades. 
So this one is a bunny. And I'm starting from the bottom. So that's what I have. Oops, sorry. This is hard to show. <laughs> but I have this all done on the bottom except for these parts that I covered. I so far can resist starting these so I don't have a whole bunch of diamond paintings. <laughs> So that was the newer one of the two. This is the older one. And I have almost like the same amount of progress. And you can also follow me on Instagram. It's the same name as my YouTube channel. And I'll also put it in the description because I do post on Instagram when I'm stitching. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming around to watch my whip parade. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.